Hi dear friends welcome to top education in this session we will learn financial accounting in financial accounting we are dealing with the second chapter that is conversion of single entry system into double entry system so let's begin with it after doing that first let's see how to convert a single entry into a double entry so there are there are many account such as we have to prepare br account total debtors account bp account total creditors account open statements of affairs fixed asset account then cash and bank book then we have second stage preparation of final statement this is only to identify the missing statement now here we will uh, prepare the final statement that is a trading account and profit and loss account and last is balance sheet so this is how we are we are going to do the sum first we have to start with br account total debtors account bp account total creditors account then we have opening statement of affairs then finance uh, fixed assets account then cash or book account okay in this sum we have different different ledgers each account has a ledger okay so let's start with a basic sum which which will give you an idea how to convert the entries into single into double so let's begin with it so guys just have a look on your question from the following information ascertain total sales and total purchases now here you have to find total purchase and total uh, sales because here this is the missing state uh, statement what you have to find now balance on 4142013 31st 3 2014 sundry debtors for 65000 72000 ar 37000 30000 sundry creditors 48000 50000 bp 24000 and 21000 then transaction for the year which were occurred in this year there were cash sales 38750 cash received for debtors 162500 discount allowed to customers 45000 return inwards uh, 12000 return outwards 2500 cash received behalf of br that is 58000 cash paid to bp is 40000 cash purchase is 25000 cash paid to creditors is 17500 bad debts written off 5000 so let's begin with the sum now sundry debtors here sundry debtors means this is your opening balance this is your closing balance okay first opening balance 31st closing balance so let's write down here is what we will write is 2 opening balance now what we have here is 65000 so 65000 is our opening balance now let's go down okay so uh okay so this is br account so we'll write br's opening balance okay that is 37000 37000 and closing is 30000 now let's see on behalf of br what is here discount allow return inwards return outward cash received on br so this how much 58000 that will write on this side that is by cash bank account that is how much 58000 and next one more we'll see how what is left it out nothing bad debts written off no now see brs 
closing balance is 30,000. So we'll ras, uh, light, write it here by closing balance. That is how much? 30,000. Let's write it out here. 30,000. Now, which side will be big? That will write down here. Okay, total amount. Guys, how this came is total opening balance means here sundry debtor says opening is 65,000 and closing is 72,000. Now we'll find out what will come in this side. Like now cash sales, no. Cash received for debtors, yes, correctly. 1,62,500. So buy cash bank account. 1,62,500. Next. Discount allowed to customer. Discount allowed also will come here. Discount. How much is that here? Discount. 4,500. So next we have is written inverts. Yeah. Written inverts. Written inverts means a good which we have sold it is written back written inward outward means uh, okay written inward means the sale the purchases which was done that is back to us only written outward means which we have purchased that we have gave them okay so clear so buy written in words written in words we have 12,000 okay next let's see what is that uh, this cash pay cash purchase bad yeah bad debts buy debts that is 5,000 okay now one more we are forgetting is this here total debtors name came here we are preparing total debtors only so this entry will come here it is two so it will be buy so buy br account that is 51000 okay next we have to total this all things yes so let's do and one more entry is to be come here that is sundry closing balance that is 72,000 by that is 72,000. Now let's make it 1,62,500, 4,500, 12,000. 5,000, 51,000, 72,000. So the answer is 3 lakh 7,000. So we'll write down here. Full total, okay. 3 lakh 7,000. 3 lakh. Now we'll minus this one. 65,000. So 2,42,000 is answer. 2,42,000. Okay. 2,42,000 is answer. So this will be to credit sales. Okay. This is credit sales. Now, we have to find here, see, what is total sales. Now we will find out total sales, okay, by this credit sales only. So this is the formula to find out total sales is equal to credit sales plus cash sales. Now, what we have got here, let's see. Here. You can see her cash sales. Yes, that is 38,750. Now we'll write down here. That is cash sales 38,750. And what we have get answer here is 2 lakh. Yes, 2 lakh 42,000. 2 lakh 42,000. 
thousand. Now we'll plus it out and let's see what will be the answer. Thirty-eight thousand seven fifty. So twenty-eight thousand seven fifty is answer. Twenty-eight thousand seven fifty. So we have found out total sales. Now we have to find out total purchases. So we have to prepare BP and total creditors account. So let's begin with it. Now let's prepare BP. That is twenty four thousand and twenty one thousand. If you forget, no, then you can write here directly. So see. In BP opening balance here, closing balance here. So by opening balance to closing balance. Now what is opening? Twenty four thousand, twenty one thousand, twenty four thousand, twenty one thousand. Okay. Now let's see what is the related BP BP cash paid BP forty thousand. So to cash bank forty thousand. Now let's total it up forty sixty. I think forty thousand plus twenty one thousand sixty one thousand is total. And next we have minus twenty four thousand thirty seven thousand is answer. So this is by total creditors account. So it will go to this account. Now uh, you may be doubt about why I am writing ulta in debtors. We created like this in creditors by this. Because this is only the accounting rule, okay? Here, be ah uh, here you just think it out, clear it out. See, opening balance. Ah, uh, this if you learn this one, then this one is too easy to you. All ulta entries we have to do. That's it. Now let's do opening of ah uh, creditors by opening balance. That is ah uh, we have. Mm, forty eight thousand, forty eight thousand, and next let's see what is here. Cash sales, cash receive, discount allowed, written inward, written outward, written outward will write here to outward. That is, I think four. Oh no, uh, written outward is two thousand five hundred. Two thousand five hundred, and next, <coughs> what we have is cash purchase, cash paid to creditors. Yes, so to cash and bank account, that is we have one lakh seven thousand five hundred, one lakh seven thousand five hundred. Next, let's see. Nothing is left down. Okay, no, 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 no. Yes, or oh, everything is done. Now, one thing, closing balance. Yes, fifty thousand to closing balance. That is fifty. Yes, fifty thousand. And here also, see total creditors. So, buy. That is buy side. So this here it will come two side to BP account. That is thirty seven thousand. Now let's calculate it. Two thousand five hundred. Yes, two thousand five hundred. Then one lakh seven thousand five hundred fifty thousand thirty seven thousand. So total is one lakh ninety seven thousand. One lakh ninety seven thousand. One lakh ninety-seven thousand. One lakh ninety-seven thousand minus forty-eight 
thousand. That is one lakh forty nine thousand. One lakh forty nine by credit purchase. That is one lakh forty nine. See guys, here we are finding uh, credit sales and credit purchase. By this only we can find found out total sales and total purchases which here they have asked. Now let's write the formula. Total purchase is equal to credit purchase plus cash purchase. Now let's find out here cash purchase. Yes, twenty five thousand. So twenty five thousand. And what was our answer? One lakh forty forty nine. Thousand. So let's do it. One lakh forty nine thousand plus we have twenty five thousand. That is one lakh seventy four thousand. So it is easy. Okay, to find that find it out easy. So both answers are here. So we have found out the missing statement. For further sum, I will just putting down a video. Okay, so just be uh, with me. If you like my uh, studying techniques, then you can just subscribe my channel and just give a thumbs up button for it. Thank you.